Hey, what is up my beauties and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Silver Monique. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate you guys for clicking on today's video. So today is going to be a little vloggy vlog. I am trying out a new style with my locks, but before we can get to the style, your girl got to do a retwist. And so that's currently what I'm doing as you guys can see from these clips right here. I originally wasn't going to do a YouTube video. That's why these clips are vertically. Then I decided like, you know what, let me go ahead and show y'all the process. Let me show y'all that I know how to retwist my hair. Yes, your girl be redoing her hair all the time. I no longer go to the shop unless I need to do like a deep, deep clean. Then I'll go ahead and go to the shop. Or if I absolutely do not feel like doing my own hair, then I'm going to schedule that appointment and have somebody else do it because it feels good. Like having somebody else do your hair that's like a therapy session and so i definitely love going to the shop nothing against it but your girl needs to save some money and i know how to do my own hair and so that's what i'm doing i can definitely say that my hair has grown tremendously it has grown super fast since i've gotten locks if you don't have locks and you're thinking about getting locks this is your sign to go ahead and get, t get twisted up baby you will not regret it Sometimes I be, I'm not even gonna lie, like sometimes I be thinking like, dang, I really wanna cut my hair because it was at a point in time before I locked my hair up where I cut all of my hair off and I had short hair. And I found short hair, like short, short, short hair to be easier to deal with. And sometimes like with locks, I be trying to figure out what different styles to do and I don't want them type of problems. I don't even want that type of stress. I don't want to have to think about what type of style to put my hair in or having to worry about a retwist. Just having no hair is easier to deal with but all in all I do love my locks and they've been growing on me for sure year by year and I've just been trying to figure out what type of styles to do and what looks best, what's my go-to and things like that. One thing that i've been getting asked on like previous videos is you know how many locks i have y'all i've never counted how many locks i have so i still don't know and i don't think i will ever know but as y'all can see as i was getting to like the middle of my head i needed some assistance because it was getting a little too hard and so i had my babe helped me out with the middle of my hair as y'all can see you know we was grooving he was helping me out so i appreciate him as y'all can see he got locks himself and so he know what he was doing and then after he got done I was feeling it because I was like okay I did that I really did a good job and I was just vibing to the music because I was listening to music while I was doing my hair the entire time and as y'all can see this is the finished look um, I went ahead and dried my hair off camera and took the clips off and everything and so this is how my hair turned out now for the style let's get into it get into it get into it get into it i'll be using this leftover hair that i previously had now i did my stepdaughter's hair using this hair i actually put some locks in her head and i'll be using the leftover hair these locks is eight inches so yeah this is the kids pack so it's super short so it's going to be about the same length as the hair that's on my head but at this point right now so i'm doing a bun type of style i'm just putting all my hair up into a bun i do have some hair down on both sides i did a two strand twist on both sides and i'm just leaving those down on each side just putting the rest of my hair up in a ponytail i'm like okay i got some hang time my hair getting a little long but right now i am taking the crochet hair and I'm going to go ahead and crochet this hair onto this black binder that's keeping my ponytail together. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to get as close as possible. I went ahead and crocheted the hair and got it through the binder. Now I'm taking the needle back through the loop of the crochet hair and I'm trying to grab the end of the crochet hair and pull that through the hole so that I can make a little knot. And that's going to secure it onto the binder. So as you guys can see that. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue the same process for the entire binder until I get it all the way full. 
and boom here is the finished look so I went ahead and added the crochet here like I stated all the way around and got it as full as I wanted it to be and now at this point um, I'm just gonna figure out how I am going to shape the bun how I would like my bun to look and so that's what I'm doing right now this process would have been easier if the crochet here was a little bit longer maybe like 12 inches so that way I could have had a little bit more like length to work with as far as like shaping my bun and not having to like um what is it not having to I don't know like for some reason like this was a little difficult to try to shape the bun because the hair wasn't long enough and it wasn't reaching all the way back into the bun and or the binder wasn't like catching all the all of the hair when I pulled the hair back so it was a little bit difficult just trying to get this bun to look how I actually wanted to look and so that's why I'm saying like if the crochet hair was a little bit longer maybe like 12 inches would have been perfect however I did make it work and I definitely needed some Barbie pants to keep some of the hair in place. And don't mind my man, y'all. He just showing me some love because he know your girl look good. And I definitely did my thing with this one. And y'all know I just cannot be serious. I was still in the bathroom vibing and just catching a vibe, just dancing and just being goofy. Like I just can't be serious at all. But I am almost finished with this look. The pretty, pretty much the last step. As y'all can see, I'm just getting these edges together, slicking back these edges so that I can get everything looking nice and neat and clean. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment sections below. How did I do? Um, if y'all got locks currently, would you rock this style? I know for us um, ladies who have short locks, this could be a good look to go ahead and do. And if not, and if you think that I could have done something differently with this style, let me know in the comment section below what you would have did differently. And because that is just give me some different ideas of different styles that I can go ahead and do. Um, and then if y'all have some ideas or some styles that y'all think can think of other than you know what you could have done differently from this style also leave me a comment in the comment section below any suggestions because i think that i'm gonna just just start trying different styles with my locks from now on because the girls need it i need it and so I'm gonna look into it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some, I'm gonna give y'all some ideas. But this is just one of the ones. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.